let's go through some troubleshooting steps for digital workplace catalog we're going through some main configuration files and log files first let's see how to find out the version and bell number from the url so just change your login url to api my itsb version and you can see the version and the bell number now to enable logging you have to go to settings logging override the log config settings and log level you can choose debug or trace as per your requirement once we enable the platform logs there will be a corresponding set of api filters equal logs created for the dwpc air now to download the bundle logs you have to you don't add them the url or you can go to the server and go to the installation directory the db folder here you can see the bundle.log if there are any startup issues you can check the air monitor log and air java plugin.log now if you want to see the platform log which i created for tenant let's go to the tenant directory go inside your tenant and go to the db folder see the corresponding api filter sql and escalation logs created now let's see some main configuration files for the digital workplace catalog so i'm going to the conf directory so here you can see the er.conf which will contain all details about the wpc er here you can see the database details the plugin ports etc the other important file in this directory is rss void and properties which will contain all details about the rss now let's go to the er monitor.com file this will contain the platform jar files for er and also java options We'll go to the plugin sphere directory so here we have the plugin sphere under the config xml which will contain all the details about plugins like for example the rss plugin the other important file here is the plugin sphere config underscore fts xml which will contain the fts configuration Now we'll see some files necessary for the SSL configuration. So here we have JT HTTP XML, which uh, we you have to change the port to the corresponding port, and you'll have to add the certificate details here. The other important file for SSL configuration is in the SBENV directory. So here you have to change the UI service URL, the Rx service, and the AR host. Change the local host with your server name and change the port and make it HTTPS. The other important file in, involved with SSL configuration is located in located in Rx scripts bin folder. Set env.sh. So here you have to change the scheme to HTTPS, change the host name and the port. So if you have any SSL issues, you can enable the SSL logging. So here you should be able to see the ER server d.conf. Here you need to add an extra line which says JVM option java, java x.net.debug equal to SSL and instead of this xx we have to put the largest number so here the maximum is 23 so you have make it 24. so once this is done and you have resetted your digital workplace catalog the errors will be captured in the er error log thank you for watching the video please subscribe to our channel